Welcome everyone, join us today as we delve into the life and legacy of Bernie Nolan, the beloved lead singer of the Nolans. From her rise to fame in the 1970s with hit songs like I'm in the mood for dancing, to her courageous battle with cancer, Bernie left an indelible mark on the world of music and beyond. So let's dive in. Bernadette Therese Nolan, born the 17th of October 1960 in Dublin, Ireland. The seventh of eight children, Bernie Nolan had siblings Tommy, Brian, Anne, Denise, Maureen, Linda, and Colleen. Her parents, Tommy and Maureen Nolan, were a singing duo who encouraged their daughters to pursue careers in entertainment. When Bernie was two, the family moved to Blackpool, England to further their ambitions. The sisters began performing as the Nolan Sisters in 1974, gaining exposure on popular shows like Cliff Richard's television program, Morecambe and Wise, and The Two Ronnies. They supported Frank Sinatra on his 1975 European tour and performed with Rolf Harris in South Africa. Entertainers like the two Ronnies and Val Dunican enjoyed working with the Nolan sisters because they were not showbizy kids. They weren't pretentious or obnoxious, they could simply sing. Bernie and Linda, still in their teens, had tutors accompany them on tour to keep up with their schoolwork. Performing on It's Cliff was a massive success, drawing in audiences of 18 million and turning the Nolan sisters into household names overnight. They started getting recognized in the street and relished the attention. Their profile skyrocketed, leading to a flood of bookings. Their polished style was perfect for TV variety shows, as they were competent singers and looked attractive on screen. The sisters began recording tracks for EMI's subsidiary, Target Records, releasing a total of nine singles. Unfortunately, none of these singles made it into the top 40, despite being penned by hit writers like Roger Cook and Harry Greenaway, who had achieved significant chart success with other artists. In 1978, the Nolan sisters achieved significant success with their album 20 Giant Hits, which reached number 3 on the UK album chart. The album featured cover versions of popular standards such as Sailing, The Way We Were, and Song Sung Blue. That same year, Denise Nolan left the group to pursue a solo career, leaving the remaining members to continue as a quartet. In 1979, the group competed to represent the UK in the Eurovision Song Contest with their song Harry My Honolulu Lover, which was widely expected to be chosen. However, it was Black Lace who ultimately represented Britain, finishing in seventh place. Opportunity was on the horizon for the Nolan sisters, who signed a new record deal with Epic in 1979. By the end of that year, they released I'm In The Mood For Dancing, an upbeat pop tune with a timely disco beat, featuring Bernie on lead vocals. This track became their biggest and most iconic hit, reaching number 3 in the UK and topping the charts in Japan, where it sold 600,000 copies. Following the success of I'm In The Mood For Dancing, the album Nolan Sisters was released, reaching number 15 on the British chart. In early 1980, the group changed their name to the Nolans, shortly before Anne temporarily left the group following her marriage and was replaced by 15-year-old Colleen. Their album Making Waves stayed on the UK charts for 33 weeks and produced hit singles like Don't Make Waves, Who's Gonna Rock You, Gotta Pull Myself Together, and Attention To Me, with the last two entering the UK singles top 10. Gotta Pull Myself Together and Sexy Music were also big hits in Japan. Their success continued with the album Portrait in 1982, which featured their last UK Top 20 hit, Don't Love Me Too Hard, including two tracks written by Bernie. In 1982, Anne rejoined the group, but their peak success had passed, as shown by the compilation album Altogether, failing to reach the UK Top 50. Linda left in 1983 to start a solo career, earning the nickname The Naughty Nolan after posing nude under a sheet. Despite dwindling UK success, the Nolans found support overseas, including a stadium tour in Russia in 1986 and a six-album deal in Japan in 1987. Albums like Rock and Rolling Idol were aimed at the Japanese market. In 1994, Colleen left to have a baby, and Bernie departed in 1995 to pursue acting, following her 1993 appearance in The Devil Rides Out. Decades later, the sisters disclosed the challenges they faced as children, performing nightly in nightclubs and being driven home by their hard-drinking father in the early hours, only to wake up for school shortly after. It also became known that their father, who passed away in 1998, had been abusive toward his wife and daughters. By the time these revelations emerged, Bernie had established herself as a prominent actor. Her acting career began with a role on the BBC Saturday morning children's show On the Waterfront, where critics praised her comedic talent. She later impressed audiences in the stage play The Devil Rides Out and portrayed Mrs Johnston in Willie Russell's Blood Brothers during its UK tour for over two years. 
Bernie was the first of four Nolan sisters to take on the role, a distinction that earned them a place in the Guinness Book of Records for the most siblings playing the same role in a professional production at different times. In 2000, Bernie joined the cast of Channel 4's soap opera Brookside as Diane Murray, after catching the eye of Paul Marquis while performing in Blood Brothers. She departed from Brookside in 2002 when her character was killed off. Following this, she portrayed Sheila Murphy in ITV's police drama series The Bill until 2005. Bernie also participated in Channel 4's series The Games in 2006, raising funds for charities including Alzheimer's and children's charities. In 2007, she starred in the play Mum's the Word, playing the character, Robin, a role she reprised in the 2008 tour alongside her sister Maureen, who played Jill, and again in 2010. During the summer season of 2007, Bernie appeared at Blackpool North Pier Theatre in her own production, Soap Queens and Kings. In 2008, Bernie joined the UK touring production of Flashdance the Musical for over a year, portraying Hannah Owens. She also participated in the ITV celebrity reality television program Pop Star to Opera Star in January and February 2010, reaching the final where she was runner-up to Darius Campbell. In 2012, Bernie appeared as Mama Morton in the UK tour of the musical Chicago. In between her acting roles, Bernie occasionally returned to music. She released the single Makushla in 2004, with proceeds benefiting charity. It peaked at number 38 on the UK singles chart in March 2004. In 2005, Bernie released her debut solo album, All By Myself, featuring mainly power ballads, including Better Place, a song written by Nolan's husband in memory of their daughter Kate, who was stillborn in 1998. In 2009, Bernie, Colleen, Linda, and Maureen reunited for a successful 23-date tour of the UK and Ireland. They also released an album, I'm In The Mood Again, which reached number 22 on the UK album charts to coincide with the tour. Personally, Bernie was married to drummer Steve Dunathy in Lancashire in 1996. They resided in St Anne's-on-Sea, Lancashire, and later moved to Weybridge, Surrey. In 1998, she tragically experienced the stillbirth of their daughter Kate, followed by the birth of their daughter Erin in 1999. Before Steve, Bernie was in a relationship with actor and TV host Bradley Walsh. Tragically, on the 23rd of April 2010, it was announced that Bernie had been diagnosed with breast cancer. By October 2010, she reported being cancer-free following chemotherapy and a mastectomy, supplemented by Herceptin treatment. In February 2012, she shared the news that she had completed cancer treatment and was free of the disease. However, by the end of October 2012, Bernie revealed that her cancer had returned and spread to her brain, lungs, liver, and bones. Her sisters Anne and Linda Nolan had previously battled breast cancer in 2000 and 2006, respectively, both achieving recovery. Sadly, on 4 July 2013 Bernie passed away peacefully in her sleep at her Surrey home at the age of 52. Her funeral service took place on 17 July 2013 at the Grand Theatre Blackpool, followed by cremation at Carlton Crematorium. Her ashes were interred alongside those of her stillborn daughter Kate. And there you have it. Thank you for joining us in remembering Bernie Nolan, a true icon of music and inspiration. Her powerful voice and spirit continue to resonate with fans around the world. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories about your favorite artists. Take care and bye for now.